Who is recording? You got you are recording. I uh, started from. Okay, very good. So please accept my humble obeisances. All glory to the Prabhupada. Thank you for inviting me to your wonderful evening session. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you. So we are. We can start, or we yes, have to wait sir. some more people. I think we can start. People will start joining. Very good. So we have a question. Yes, Prabhu. What is dharma? Is mm. dharma and religion the same? If mm. God is one, why are there so many religions? Mm. Okay, very good. So what is dharma? Hmm. What someone is asking a question already? Uh, same, same questions I just put oh, on the chat. Put on the chat. So what is dharma? Dharma means uh, religion. Of course, the translated is religion, but it is more than religion. Dharma means your constitutional position. So we all have got a service mood, you know. That is the uh, constitution of the living entity is to serve. Yes? Yes. Sir. Yes. But the problem is that we are dovetailing our service for sense gratification. So therefore, that's creating a lot of repercussions which are not very palatable. So, but the real service is to serve the Lord. And that is the constitutional position of the soul. It is an eternal servant of God. So this service to God is actually said to be the religious principle. Or we say the dharma of the living entity. You follow? Mm, yes, sir. So that is our constitutional position to become servant of God. Now, but what is religion, dharma? So dharma is understood to be, uh, you know, for, for us to understand uh, the religious principle, she took, uh, he took the form of a bull. In the Bhagavadam, you must have read, no? that the religious principle, he took the form of a bull, mm -hmm. you know. So that is explained here, you can see. So this is the, can you read? Ram Prabhu, you want to read? Yeah. Hare Krishna. Uh, the king said, Ho, oh, you who are in the form of a bull, you know the truth of religion and you are speaking according to the principle that the destination intended for the perpetrator, perpetrator of irreligious active acts is also intended for one who identifies the perpetrator. You are none other than the personality of religion. So the bull was uh, symbolizing the personality of religion. You know? Mm. Mm. Yes. So this religious principle is standing as bull stands on four legs, no? Mm. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. So the bull is standing on these four legs. Mm. So this is what it is. And the four legs, uh, in these four qualities. Can you read? Can continue, Prabhu. Yeah. In the age of Satya, truthfulness, your four legs were established by the four principles of austerity, cleanliness, mercy, and truthfulness. But it appears that three of your legs are broken due to rampant irreligion in the form of pride, lust for women, and intoxication. So you see, the religious principle has four legs, no? 
correct yes one is austerity the cleanliness cleanliness mercy and truthfulness these are the four pillars of religion you understand yes bro hmm? so here you can see want to read this yes you are now standing on one leg only which is your truthfulness and you are somehow or other hobbling along but quarrel personified kali flourishing by deceit is also trying to destroy that leg so you read the purport yeah the principles of religion do not stand on some dogmas or man made formulas but they stand on four primary regulative observers principles namely austerity cleanliness mercy and truthfulness the mass of people must be taught to practice these principles from childhood austerity means to accept voluntary things which may not be very comfortable for the body but are conducive for spiritual realization fasting for example fasting twice or four times a month is a sort of austerity which may be voluntarily accepted for spiritual realization only and not for any other purposes political or otherwise fastings which are meant not for self realization but for some other purposes are condemned in the bhagavad gita similarly cleanliness is necessary for both the mind and the body simply bodily cleanliness may help to some extent but cleanliness of the mind is necessary and it is affected by the glorifying by glorifying the supreme lord no one can cleanse the accumulated mental dust without glorifying the supreme lord a godless civilization cannot cleanse the mind because it has no idea of god and for this simple reason people under such a civilization cannot have good qualifications however they may be materially equipped we have to see things by that by their resultant action the resultant action of human civilization in the age of kali is dissatisfaction so everyone is anxious to get peace of mind this peace of mind was complete in the satya age because of the existence of the above mentioned attributes of the human being ram prabhu there is a lot of background noise is it from your side Uh, no. that is if you are not speaking you mute yourself and then we can when you're talking you can unmute yourself you know then the sound effect will not be huh? please help huh? good okay gradually these attributes have diminished in the treta yuga to 3/4 the dwapara to half and this age of kali to 1/4 which is also gradually diminishing on account of prevailing untruthfulness by pride either artificial or real the resultant action of austerity is spoiled by too much affection for female association cleanliness is also cleanliness is spoiled by too much addiction to intoxication mercy is spoiled and by too much lying propaganda truthfulness is spoiled the revival of bhagavata bhagavata dharma can save human civilization from falling prey to evils of all description so you see from this the four legs which is symbolizing these four things huh? that we just read huh? cleanliness huh? first truthfulness truthfulness austerity austerity intoxication mercy mercy compassion so you have austerity cleanliness mercy and truthfulness 
So if you uh, austerity to get austere, but if you get yourself uh, intoxicated, you cannot become austere. Isn't that? And if you uh, cleanliness, if you have illicit sex, you cannot be clean. Mercy, if you kill animals, ahimsa, you are ahimsa, you kill jiva ahimsa, then you cannot get develop mercy. And of course, truthfulness, if you gamble, then you cannot become truthful. You understand? Mm -hmm. So these yes. four things relate to our four principles. Yes? Yes, brother. So therefore, religion means that we must do these four things. What is that? No meditating, no illicit no. sex, no gambling, and no intoxication. This constitutes the four pillars of sins. You understand? If anybody is doing these four things, then you cannot say he's religiously, uh, okay. I would say, settled. He's not, he's not religious. You understand? So what's wrong being irreligious? Well, that's very bad. If you become irreligious and engage in sinful life, then you know where he goes, correct? Mm -hmm. Go to hell. Yeah, you go to hell. You understand? Huh? Why this austerity is important? Now let's go down to a little bit more of religious principles. We break it down. Why austerity is important? Because if you're austere, tapasya, then you can get a chance to come to the mode of goodness. Hmm? Yes. It says here, by becoming austere, So many verses on this. Huh? <laughs> oh, but spoke a lot on this verse. See here, when you become austere, tapo, this austerity is not some speculated austerity. Tapo divya means transcendental austerity, austerity done in the direction of God. No, then you become, you come to the mode of goodness, you know, yena sattvam, you come to the mode of goodness. So when you come to the mode of goodness, only you can get purified, you know, purified, suddha yet. So when you get purified, then you come to the position of becoming uh, Brahma Saukyam or the position of trying to understand Krishna, God. So therefore, see how austerity is very important. You cannot become God conscious if you are not austere. Yes? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So austerity means that you don't what? Uh, intoxicate yourselves. Correct? Yes, ma'am. If you are not sober, how you can be austere? Hmm? Correct? Yes. So, uh, the other thing also, if you are not austere, explain here also, that if you don't practice austerity, then you cannot get the association of devotees, you see. Durapa, uh, alpa tapasha, alpa means you don't have a, very meager, meager austerity. Uh, if you have meager austerity, that means you're not austere, then you cannot get this, you know, association of saintly personalities. Those who persons who austerity are meager can hardly obtain the service of pure devotee progressing. Uh, on the path back to kingdom of God, the Vaikuntha. In other words, if you 
not austere, then it's not possible for you to get this contact with pure devotees. Naturally, if you are drunkard, nobody wants to go near you, no? Yes, I think in America there's so many, what do you call that, Trumps, uh, what do you call these guys? Dumb, uh, Trumps, Trumps. Uh. Lying on the street, right? Drunk, correct? Yes. Nobody want to go near them. Yes or not? Yeah. So you see how everything is connected, you know. So austerity is very, very important because by austerity, then you can come to the point of trying to follow some principles. Eh? Yes? Yes, sir. And then you yeah. come to the mood of goodness. That's why we are teaching everybody to wake up in the morning and chant Hare Krishna, correct? Mm. That is austerity. Yes? I think I have explained that subject many times. Huh? So once you come to goodness, then you come to, you will develop religious principles. When you develop religious principles, then God consciousness will be awakened. Mm. Correct? Yes, and yes. when God consciousness is awakened, then you get purified. You, know? you get realization, you get purification, one thing after the other. Now we go back to the other thing. What was the other one? Hmm? Fruitfulness. Fruitfulness, huh? Yeah. First we got austerity yeah. done. Yeah. Now the next yeah. thing is cleanliness. What is this cleanliness? Hmm? That's yeah. illicit yeah. sex. That's illicit sex, correct? Yeah. So if you do illicit sexual activities, then you cannot be clean. Yes? Yes, bro. Mm. Yes, bro. I'm sure you know people who do this kind of thing, they suffer from a lot of disease. Yes, or not? Yes, bro. Yes. Yeah. A HIV and what is that? VD and what not. Correct? Mm -hmm. mm. So, illicit sexual activity does not promote a God consciousness, because lust, lust is the cause of all problems. As Krishna says, uh, lust and anger is the enemy of the living entity. Is it not? Yes. Yes. Yeah, you know which verse is that? Kama Yesha Krodha Yesha Rajoguna Samadbhavaha Mahashana. Very good. Very good. So Krishna is labeling it as enemies, you know. So in other words, if you are unclean, if you do illicit sexual activities, then you are involved in a demonic kind of consciousness. So you know the three gates that go to hell. Yes. Hmm? Mm -hmm. These are the three gates that bring you to hell. Where are these three gates? Lust, lust anger, anger, and greed. Mm. So if you become lusty, so where you will go? Because you become lusty, then anger will follow lust, correct? Mm. And lust will be anger, you get to become greedy, correct? Yes. Then you become envious, you become illusion, and you fall down. Ah, correct? Yes. Sir. Yeah. So you see, you become lusty, then you are not going up. You are going where? You are going to hell. You understand? Yes. Sir. Yes. Hmm? Yes. So you think it is very good to be lusty? No. No. You cannot make any spiritual progress. And also it clouds the intelligence. Of course, when you become, uh, you enjoy your senses, your brain don't work, no? Mm -hmm. And you cannot, you cannot go to God. You cannot. 
to go to God, not possible. You know, because all these four principles don't bring you to God at all, that's for sure. Sometimes they ask this question, why God is sitting in a heart, we cannot understand him? Yeah? The, the Mahatmas also having God in their heart, you also having God in the heart. But well, why you cannot understand? Why? Because Tell very busy in our engaging in our sense gratification. Hmm? Can you read this one? Anyone? Uh, Jax, can you read? Hello. Just one second. Uh, my Lord, you are the supreme well-wishing friend of everyone. The dear most friend, the controller, the super soul, the supreme instructor, and the giver of supreme knowledge and the fulfillment of all desires. But although you are within the heart, the foolish become, because of lusty desires in the heart, cannot understand you. Sorry. Can someone else read? See that? Mm. Yes. Because of the lusty desires, they cannot understand God. Yes? Yes. So you see how breaking the principles of not becoming clean, you cannot also make spiritual advancement. Correct? Yes, sir. Hmm? All right. So therefore, we have to understand that illicit sex is detrimental. Mm -hmm. But sex life, which is, you know, done according to scripture, then that is sanctioned. There is no obligation to that. Uh, provided you have relationship only for procreation. Doesn't mean that you have a wife, doesn't mean that you can have sex life indiscriminately. That is also not allowed. You have to have relationship only for the purpose of procreation. You understand? So the next thing was, what, what was that? Mercy. Oh yeah, mercy. Mercy means what? Compassion. The next thing is mercy. Hmm? Yes? Yes. So mercy means that you do not commit uh, violence. If you commit violence to especially animals, then you cannot become God conscious. You see here, the Lord does not support this violence. You know. Anyone who thinks he's religious, but he commits violence, then the Lord is very displeased with him, you know. Anyone want to read this? Shabha Mataji, can you read? How can a religious system that produces envy of one's self and, self and of others be beneficial for oneself and for them? What is, the auspicious, what is auspicious about following such a system? What is actually to be gained? By causing pain to one's own self due to self-envy and by causing pain to others, one arouses your anger and practices irreligion. Is that? Yes. Hmm? By cursing what? Pain. Pain to others. Right. Your anger and practices arouses your anger and practices irreligion. See this? So if you commit this, I mean, uh, break the principle of eating meat, huh? then you are 
they not, cannot go to God. If you, uh, you arose the anger of God, then how you can go and please Him, correct? The whole idea is to love Him, no? Yes? Yes. So you try to anger God, then where's the question of trying to get any mercy from Him? Hmm? Understand? So in fact, he also said in another place that all people can come to me except this meditators. Hmm? Four, fourteen or four. Yeah. So here, Nevatata se upagiyamanan bhaushadi bhava aushadi srotra mano viraman ka utama sloka gunanuva dat puman virejeta vina pasu ganad. This is the word. Vina pasu means what? Animals. Uh, Gana means one who kills animals. No? So you want to read this, please? Shabamati, you can continue. Glorification of the Supreme Personality of Godhead is performed in the Parampara system. That is, it is conveyed from spiritual master to disciple. Such glorification is relished by those no longer interested in the false temporary glorification of this cosmic manifestation. Descriptions of the Lord are the right medicine for the tradition the voice is fading undergoing repeated birth and death therefore who will bring such glorification of the lord except a butcher or one who is killing his own self so another person who who uh, kind of uh, kills animals there's no mercy Correct? Yes. And he cannot hear the glorification of the Lord. And he cannot. He will not hear and the Lord also, as we explained, will not be pleased with him. Yes? Yes, true. So you see how bad it is that if you try to do this eating of meat, fish or eggs, then you cannot develop any religious principles in your heart. Yes? Yes. yes. And then the last one, what was that? Truthfulness. Ah, truthfulness. So truthfulness, what is the thing? Gambling, correct? Gambling. So if you gamble, then you cannot become truthful. Yes? Yes. Yes. The whole system of uh, Brahminical order, the first thing of the person who is God conscious is to become what? Truthful. Yes? Yes. Yeah. Samadamas tapasauchyam. Hmm? Honesty, huh? Yeah? Yes? Yes. Yes. So, these are the qualifications of a devotee, or in other words, a God conscious person. So, if a person indulges in all kind of a gambling, uh, then he cannot be truthful. Yes? Yes. Yeah. Especially when you try to indulge in all this money-making thing. Huh? When you try to just think of only but money, then you develop all these bad qualities, no? Mm -hmm. And one of it is, see this? bad qualities. See? Theft, violence, speaking lies. You see this? Huh? Yeah. This is by gambling. Duplicity, loss, anger, perplexity, pride, quarreling, enmity, faithlessness, envy, dangers caused by women, gambling, intoxication are the 15 undesirable qualities that contaminate man because of 
greed for wealth and gambling means greed for wealth no yeah yeah so you see how these four principles undermine this religious uh, qualities yes yes yeah. that's why we have to we see when we tell anyone to chant 16 rounds and follow the four principles yes yes because if you break the principle then your chanting will not become effective no to commit sinful activities on the strength of chanting the holy name of the lord is an offense to the holy name is it not yes yes so you see how these four things and religion they go hand in hand you cannot say you are religious and you break this four then you are you are cheating yes and we can see also if anyone doesn't follow these four principles we can see he cannot chant practically he cannot chant and of course this now we heard you won't want to hear about god no yes Yes. Yes. Ah. Therefore, Kali Yuga, you know, he was given place to stay because Parichit Maharaj was checking him because he was trying to kill the cow. No. So the he gave him place. Okay, you go and stay wherever these four principles are broken. You go stay there. <laughs> So if you break these four principles, you are going to invite who? Kali. 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 And Kali comes. Is there any religion? There is no religion. No. Ah, uh, religious principle means uh, abiding by the rules and regulation given by God. God. Right. Yeah. You understand. Uh, so if you go on the other way that's why the whole world is in a mess no oh, yeah. yes why is it in a mess because they're not following the, this this four principle is uh, i mean it is veda pranihito dharma he adharma star viparya yah vedo narayana sakshat swayambhuriti shushma you want to read this ha uh, mamta mati ji can you read hari krishna prabhu the yamadutas replied that which is prescribed in the vedas constitutes dharma the religious principles and the opposite of that is a religion the vedas are directly the supreme personality of godhead narayana and are self born this we have heard from yamaraja understand mm -hmm. and religion means must come from god we cannot uh, you cannot make religion that's not possible eh huh? yes or no yes yes the nowadays they are making making uh, their own religion that that is disqualification that's why when we speak we must uphold our speaking with the word of god like now i am showing you i am not speculating yes 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 or not yes yeah. so when i speak and i show you the word of god then it is i would say it makes you also become realized yes oh i shouldn't do this i should do this i want to go and be you know honest and clean and all these things yes 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 why because i evidence this is what god wants you you want to do something you must do what god wants no correct yes. if you want to do what you want is it possible to go to god is no. not possible mm. no it is explained if you break this principles then you cannot get nothing if you don't follow this word of god then you cannot get nothing yes Yes, it is yes. not possible. It is not possible. Ya sastra vidim yustri jaha varutade kama karata ha na sa siddhim avapnoti na sukam na param gatim. So if you break, you don't follow, then you cannot get nothing. You can see here, you cannot get happiness. 
you cannot get perfection. Neither can you go back to God. This is the three things are gone. Then what are you living for? God? <laughs> to be an animal. To be an animal. That's it. Yes. Mm. That's all. Yes. You live like an animal, die like an animal, and become an animal. Mm. Okay. Is this a good thing to do? Okay. Mm. If you don't want to do this and you want to do, live like an animal, then your life is going to be extremely miserable. Yes, animal live in complete fear, no? Yes. Yeah. No? Yeah. Yes. So therefore, if you don't want to follow, then it is a pretty sad news, no? If you want to invite more suffering, huh? then who to be blamed? You think there's an alternative? Huh? No. no. There's no alternative. So there's only one thing to do, to surrender to God. Hmm? Yes. And it's made very simple. It, the simplest thing has been done for you. There's no big, big things. You know? And it says that you do this, you know, if you want to really succeed in life, you just follow this thing, you know. This is all you have to do. Can you? Kali Kalera Dharma, Krishna Nama Sankirtan, Krishna Shakti Vina Nahita Vartana. Huh? So, no. the Kali Yuga Dharma is, what happened here? Ran out of screen. Not going, eh? Problem. You can read the screen, you cannot, no? Yeah, we can see now. You can see the whole thing, you cannot, no? Not whole thing, Prabhu. Uh, half of it. No. no, 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 I have to make my screen into the box. Uh, give me a minute, I'm trying. This thing is... All right, got it. Yeah. So you can read this? Automatically. The fundamental religious system in the age of Kali is the chanting of the holy name of Krishna. Unless empowered by Krishna, one cannot propagate the Sankirtana movement. So the only thing to do, the only religious principle for Kali Yuga, what is that? Sankirtana. Sankirtana. Chanting of Hare Krishna. This is the Kali Yuga Dharma. Kalera Dharma. You see that here in Sanskrit? Kali Kalera Dharma. Only one Dharma there is. Chanting of Hare Krishna. Yes? Yes. yes. So I think I have explained this a little bit uh, clearly. Yes? Yes. 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 yes, Prabhuji. Any questions about this up to now? In fact, there's no other way, there's no other way, there's no other way, you know. Hare Nam, Hare Nam, Hare Nam. I think you know the verse, right? Yes. Yeah. So, any questions up to now about religion? Jax, do you have any questions? No. Okay, good. So, everybody is clear about this, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So you are clear why you are following these four principles, right? Mm. Yeah. Very good. So now, what is the other question? If God is on one, why are there so many religions? If God is one, why are there so many religions? Mm -hmm. Actually, there was not so many religions. There was only one religion. Do you know? Mm -hmm. Only one religion... <laughs> But uh, because it's Kali Yuga, 
you know, so many other contamination came about, you know. You can see here. They have contamination by speculation, Prabhu. So you show you the verse. So you see here in Satya Yuga, can you read? Ramprabhu? Yeah. Yes. In the beginning in Satya Yuga, there is only one social class called Hamsa, to which all human beings belong. In that age, all people are unalloyed devotees of the Lord from birth, and thus learned scholars call this first age Krita Yuga, or the age in which all religious duties are perfectly fulfilled. So well, there's only one religion. That is what? Huh? Amsa. Amsa. Amsa are the people who practice it. You know. See, this is the only religion. Can you read? Yeah. In Satya Yuga, the undivided Veda is expressed by the syllable Om. And I am the only object of mental activities. I become manifest as the four-legged bull of religion. And thus the people of Satya Yuga, fixed in austerity and free from all sins, worship me as Lord Hamsa. So when Kali Yuga came, there were a lot of irreligious principles. Yes? Yes. Correct? Yes. Yes. So many, many people started following so many. In Kali Yuga, whatever is religion will become irreligion. And whatever is irreligion will become religion. <laughs> yes. Hmm? Yes. This is Kali Yuga. Right? And so... Prabhupada explains. Hello. Yes. Sorry. Uh, so religion is like following those four principles is considered as religion then? Religion that follows these four principles is dharma. Understand? Hmm? Yeah. Okay. And which it does not follow which does not follow then it is not religion, it is something else. Hare Krishna. You can read this. Uh, Murari Prabhu, you want to read? My dear Nimai Pandita, what you have said is all true. Our scripture have developed only recent, recently and they are certainly not logical and philosophical. Purport. The Shastras of the Yavanas or meat eaters are not eternal scriptures. They have been fashioned recently and sometimes they contradict uh, one another. The scriptures of the Yavanas are three. The Old Testament, the New Testament and the Quran. Their complement has a history. They are not eternal like the Vedic knowledge. Therefore, all through they have their arguments and reasonings. They are not very sound and transcendental. As such, modern people advanced in science and philosophy deem these scriptures unacceptable. Sometimes Christian priests come to us inquiring, why are our followers neglecting our scriptures and accepting yours? But when we ask them, your Bible says, do not kill. Why then? Are you killing so many animals daily? They can't answer. So, uh, some of some of them imperfectly answer that. They, but then we ask them, how do you know that animals have no souls? Animals and children are of the same nature. Does this mean that the children of human society also have no souls? According to the Vedic scriptures, within the body is the owner of the body, the soul. 
in the bhagavad gita 2.13 it is said dehinyam asminya tha dehe kauma ramyam manojara tatha dehantara praptir dirat chatra namuyati as the embodied soul continuously passes in this body from boyhood to youth to old age the soul similarly passes into another body at that a sober person is not bewildered by such a change because the soul is within the body the body changes through so many forms there is a soul within the body of every living creature whether animal tree bird or human being and the soul is transmigrating from one type of body to another when the scripture of the yavanas namely the old testament new testament and quran cannot properly answer inquisitive followers naturally those advanced in scientific knowledge and philosophy lose faith in such a scriptures the kazi admitted this while talking with sri chaitanya mahaprabhu the kazi was very intelligent person he had full knowledge of his position as stated in the following verse so you can see how in kali yuga only all this other religion come to surface yes yes and they are not very concrete mm. it's true right yes true rax you have any question on this yeah. yes yes, yes. if you follow the four principles then yes this religion is perfect yeah correct yeah but they are not following and if you fo- if you follow also we can get peace 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 of mind and everything yes. happiness yes if you follow these four principles and follow the teachings of of course you don't have a guru that's another big problem yes yes so when you don't have the people to lead you then how you will get perfection hmm? yes correct mm-hmm. if the leader themselves were not following and you follow them what will happen to you mm. yeah there is no you, you will be no boarding f- a stone boat no direction and the boat will sink no stone boat will float correct yeah and you will also sink with them the leaders of such people go to hell and the followers will also go with them yeah correct yes so therefore there's now we are there's only one religion kali yuga what is that that is hari krishna mantra chanting of the holy name of the lord that's all yeah that clear yes no hmm yes bro yes so what is the other question no more finish yeah? no uh, ram bro do you have any questions so yes bro uh, hari krishna prabhu mm. one question is uh, is is uh, investing in stock market uh considered as gambling we have doubts whether it's yeah it particularly a... it's all speculative uh, money making thing correct yeah so what to do it's everybody good. everybody is involved in the stock market nowadays yeah <laughs> <laughs> so there is very less people yeah <laughs> nobody Not works much. nobody works just go to the stock market and make enough money to, you know few hundred dollars a day and that's it <laughs> day trading is definitely very speculative and uh, uh, intoxicant also but what about long term investment like invest for okay. 5 10 years yeah. yeah, yeah if, you, if you do of course proper invested in stocks and bonds you know mutual funds so like yeah he did that so to get you know long term benefit so i leave it to your discretion that's all guys if you are finding yourself getting all completely overwrapped with it then it's going to be a problem no yes 
Yes, sure. probably any activity that, when we do in stocks, if that puts you in uh, anxiety, then that is not good. Anything mm. it's like just as an investment, you put it and forget about it, then it is okay. Right, Prabhu? Anything you do, you, you give the result to Krishna, then it's all right. <laughs> that's good. Not that you put it and then you keep it there for your enjoyment. That's, that's not yeah. recommended, you know. <laughs> you must understand everything must be dovetailed for Krishna's uh, use. Uh, yes, and also honest. when we use for Krishna, I've seen like automatically he doesn't keep anything with him. He gives back 10 times more than that. <laughs> that is Krishna's. Yeah, person. that's how people go to Tirupati to donate, no? To get 10 <laughs> times more. <laughs> Our idea is to give everything to Krishna, you know? Yes? Yes, please. Yes, please. That is our purpose in life, you know, to, to help serve Krishna. Hmm? Yes. If you want to make money and just want to enjoy, that's uh, never allowed, you know. Yes? Yes. yes. So we have to be we have to be careful. How to, because money can be very contaminating, no? Yes. True. Yeah. Yes? Yes. Because you get into gambling, so I can show you the verse. You can decide for yourself, no? Gambling of all description, even speculative business enterprise, is considered to be degrading. And when gambling is encouraged in the state, there is a complete disappearance of truthfulness, allowing young boys and okay. girls to okay. make... Okay, all right. Do oh, you see that? Yes. So I just show you the Shastra. That's you to figure out what you're doing. Okay. Huh? <laughs> So, if you gave the results to Krishna, that's another thing. Hmm? But if you want to use that for your enjoyment, that's another thing. Yes? Yes. yes. In fact, all banks, even you put your money in the bank, they are speculating with your money anyway. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Either you like it or not, you're using your money to gamble. That is a fact. <laughs> every state, every country, everybody is involved in spe speculative gambling. Who is not? Correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes or not? So yes. You, to give the result to Krishna, that's the only solution. Hmm? Yes. At least 50% should come to Krishna, Prabhupada said, no? Yes. So if you give 50%, then better you don't do it, no? <laughs> Yes? Yes. yes. So, okay, anything else? Shobham, do you have any questions? Mamta Mataji, do you have any questions? Mm, no, Mataji, thank you, Prabhuji. Padma Ram Kumar, any, any questions? No. Yeah, we, we are good, thank you. Thank you, yeah. Prabhuji. So, I guess we have uh, come to the end of the session. Hmm? Yes. Thank you so, so much. Bro. Please I would like to ask you how you like the class. Maybe you can each speak something. Hmm? Um. Yeah. Uh, we like a good good uh, class today. I mean, uh, start from eight thirty to nine thirty. It's a one hour in Texas time. Um. You know, it's a very big thankful to you for after a long time. And uh, um, before one month, you know, I've not been in touch with you, Prabhu. So mm. thank you to the Prabhuji and Mataji that they give me this opportunity to join Snugopal Prabhu. So it's a very big thing. 
that I join it. And um, thank you all the devotees who have participated today in class. Thank you, Prabhu. Anybody else? How about this uh, new people, Ram Kumar Ram and all? How you like the program? Maybe they can all say something, how they learn something. Hmm? Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely we are learning a lot. Uh, it's even though, so what happened is initially we went in this path of Dharma and then we get distracted by Maya and we indulge, indulge in things that are not correct. And then now after getting back, we are uh, unlearning the bad things and learning the good things. So mm -hmm. having it as a habit every day, it's enriching our life. So thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Knowledge is very important. No, Without knowledge, you cannot change. No? Yes, mm. definitely. Mm. Yes. That's why to hear the scripture is very important. Hmm? Yes, bro. From the proper source, I mean, yeah, you can hear. Yeah. So many people will tell you so many nonsense also, no? Yeah. Yes? Yeah, actually, you know, we have seen that a lot of people come and talk about uh, all these things, but, you know, uh, they are speculating, they are doing their mental speculation, but, you know, on this platform, especially on the ISKM, when we come, you know, they show us the slokas, they show us the sastra, they show the evidence, and then, you know, it's really approach our heart, and it's a really convincing answer. So, mm. that's a matter, actually. And at the end, we get, we get full answer, so we get convinced, and we get peace also. Mm. Very good. What about the other Soba? Who is Soba? My friend, Soba. Oh. So what do you want to say? Sometimes something? you give uh, references to Bhagavatam uh, while reading uh, this one. So I understood that uh, I have to study that also parallelly along with this. Yeah, you can read both books. Huh? Very important. Best thing is to start hearing first, no? Then you get the... Because now you see by hearing, you get the inclination to read proper books, no? So this is positive, no, to hear. Hmm? What about our Miss Green? Jax. Busy with the kid, I think. Yeah, I think kid is keeping it busy. Who's uh, Mama Mamata? Mamata Mata Ji. Yeah, Hare Krishna. Hmm. Like mainly uh, the way you are answering from the book, it's really uh, very interesting, Prabhuji. It's like um, it gives a strong foundation. Like even in someone, if someone asks about Krishna consciousness, uh, it's like it gives it gives me more confidence and clarity now uh, to go back and refer uh, from the uh, text. And one more thing, like uh, now that like we are getting so uh, the clarity of the religion and of principles, like uh, when we are not. Even, in incorporating in our practical life, it makes us more guilty you now. <laughs> so mm -hmm. it's like really difficult because we know that like we're not uh, doing that 100% now, right now. Mm -hmm. yeah, but, yeah, because, you know, mostly people have a wrong idea of uh, what is religion all about, you know? Yeah. Because you come from a background where you practice many traditional things which is may not be in line, no? Yeah. So therefore, to get online, we have to hear from God, no? What to do, what not to do, right? Correct. Yes. So this is lacking, actually, the knowledge, no? Yes, right. Mm. Can you do it right? Then you get good results, correct? Yes. Mm. You do it wrong, then you're going to get the consequence. Yes? Yes. yes. So, uh, thank you. I think all of you are uh, thoroughly uh, uh, appreciated the session. Yeah. I have a small request. If you can try to share this video with many of your friends, you know, and then ask them to come on board this class, that also will benefit them no, tremendously. Yes. 
Roji, the one more question. Uh, it's not a philosophically, but uh, mm. you know, uh, when we are in the office, sometimes you know we don't have to do the tilak and all that. So you know, for a worker, working guys, how how they can do all these things? They can put the water tilak. Hmm? Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay. Yes, you can always do like that. No, no problem. Hmm? Okay. Main thing is your consciousness. No. Yeah. You can wear tilak and everything, and your consciousness is somewhere else. Then what's the point? Yeah. Yes. 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 Mm. So that's very important. Of course, it doesn't mean you don't wear the tilak. It's important to wear the tilak. If you wear tilak, someone sees you and will remember Krishna. That's benefit, no? Yeah. Yes. 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 If for some reason you cannot, then what to do? Hmm. Yeah. And for some reason you can and you don't want to do. That's also another thing. <laughs> yes. Yes. Mm. So okay, I guess I have to thank you for your very nice association. Give me a chance to serve Shila Prabhupada. Thank you again. All glory to Shila Prabhupada. All glory to all of you. Hmm? Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Thank you Hare Krishna